Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at the Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 11th to the 17th of October. This is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. All right, Virgo, so in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Ace of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords in reverse, okay? So your challenge here, Virgo, has a lot to do with truth, okay? You want the truth, you want the truth to be revealed, you wanna know how maybe somebody feels about you. Uh, we're gonna clarify the Ace of Swords and we're gonna see what the important message is here for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. It looks like in the recent past, a lot of you um, disconnected from someone here that you really loved. I'm seeing that you gave someone here a second chance, okay? Either you gave someone a second chance or they gave you a second chance here. We're going to clarify this and see more in a moment. In the present moment, you have the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Someone here wants to talk. Makes a lot of sense, right? Because we're in Mercury retrograde right now uh, in Libra. So someone here wants to talk to you. They've been waiting on maybe speaking, um, speaking to you here. Uh, it could be you waiting for this person to, to, to reach out and speak to you with the Three of Wands. And we have the Seven of Swords. So somebody here wants to talk about maybe um, a betrayal, something here. Someone here wants a confession. They want to know the truth. They want to know what happened in this situation in the present moment. We're going to find out more when we clarify. In the near future, Virgo, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Star, and the Page of Wands. It looks like in the near future, a lot of you are going to be following your dreams. There's something here that you are really determined to do there's something here that you you have a wish a deep wish here you want something to heal with the star and I'm seeing a lot of you making some sort of plan to move into a new direction okay so we're going to get more information when we clarify now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck Virgo we have the knight of swords in reverse the three of pentacles in reverse the eight of pentacles in reverse the eight of cups in reverse the king of pentacles in reverse and we have the seven of wands in reverse okay so what you don't see coming is the fact that someone here you have been disconnected for quite some time is possibly going to be coming back with the eight of cups here you have the eight of pentacles in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse so the reason why you and this person disconnected was because you disagreed maybe there was a disagreement or you didn't agree on the same things i'm also seeing a lot of drama here in the past okay a lot of drama a lot of chaos here and a lot of energy of giving up and not wanting to defend the situation or work on the situation anymore. I feel like you were the one that withdrew from this situation mainly primarily because you didn't want to be in this situation or this place of being in constant drama. Okay, what you don't see coming is there's possibly unresolved uh, business between you and this person. So let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on. First card I'm going to clarify for you, Virgo, is the Ace of Swords. Okay. So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Judgment, the Empress, and the Nine of Cups.
So your challenge right now, Virgo, is, you know, the fact that a lot of you want truth. You want clarity. You want to know, you know, a lot of you are asking, what's my purpose in life? Why am I here? Why am I going through this? Why am I experiencing this? There's a major awakening that a lot of you are going to be going through, especially because Pluto, the planet Pluto is now finally going direct and it's going direct in a fellow earth sign which is capricorn okay so a lot of you right now are shifting your perspective and your focus on you know a certain area of your life it could be love it could be business whatever it is right now a lot of you are trying to really make sense of something you want the truth you know you you believe that by you receiving the truth it's going to allow you to feel more fulfilled within yourself it's going to allow you to grow to make and take the necessary steps for you to move into the direction that you want to go in to. So I feel like your challenge this week has a lot more to do with spirituality than it has anything else to do with. Uh, you're trying to find the truth about something in the present moment um, in your life is what I'm seeing here. Or it could be that you want the truth from a specific person. You know that there's some situation that needs the truth to be revealed. All right. So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the five of pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Lovers. A lot of you disconnected in the recent past from someone here that you really cared about, that you really loved. I'm feeling a lot of you disconnected from the situation because it wasn't really giving you what you needed. You wanted more from the situation. You wanted more satisfaction, more happiness, maybe even you know more of a commitment here uh, in the recent past. Whatever it was, Virgo, you weren't satisfied. That's why you decided to walk away here in the past. Tell me more about the page of pentacles in the recent past for Virgo. Okay, so the page of pentacles is clarified by the tower, the seven of swords and the ten of swords. So yeah, it, you know, a lot of you gave someone a second chance here after they blew the first chance. Uh, there was a lot of, you know, misunderstandings. There could have been some sort of deception here, some sort of trust issues that broke the relationship down. I do see that you and this person reconciled and had uh, come back together here in the recent past. Now, in the present moment, for many of you, you've been waiting, okay? I'm getting the Three of Wands energy. You've been waiting to move to the next level here, um, particularly, you know, you know, to move past something here that has been very difficult for you to move past. Someone here wants to talk about... Um, some sort of deception, some sort of lie. This is why your challenge is the Ace of Swords because you want truth. You know you deserve truth in some sort of situation that you're dealing with, okay? So let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is it here? Okay, so the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Wands. You have the Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So right now in the present moment, a lot of you want love. Okay, this is what you want. You want to have a new beginning with someone. You want to experience what love truly is, unconditional love, um, committed love here. There's somebody who's coming back. Somebody who hasn't committed to you yet. Someone who isn't consistent with you. This is someone who, by the way, is really charming. You're really attracted to this person. There's something about this person's physique. They just look good or they smell good. There's something that every time you see this person, Virgo, you're like, oh, you're really, really connected to this person. And I see a lot of you have been waiting. You've been waiting on this person. Tell me more about the three of wands in the present moment for Virgo in love. Okay, so the Three of Wands is clarified by the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Yes. So it's interesting, right? Because a lot of you feel a really strong connection with someone. It's super strong. 
It's really strong. Um, even though you haven't spoken to this person, some of you haven't spoken to this person for quite some time and you've still been holding on to them. You've still been, you know, watching tarot readings or researching about this person, watching this person online, whatever it is. It's like you're not you're not wanting to take action towards this person because you feel like this person is supposed to be taking action towards you. Now, there may be some communication, maybe a text message or communication that is coming in. Uh, from this person. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands for Virgo in the present moment. So the Eight of Wands is clarified by the star, the moon, and the Hierophant. Yes. So for many of you, what you don't see coming in the present moment, if this person has reached out to you or has texted you or has called you, which I feel like they're going to do if they haven't done already, uh, I'm really strongly getting that this person's going to want to talk about the commitment because they know that this is something that you want, or maybe this is something that they want. Someone here needs to be convinced. Okay. So what you don't see coming and what's being hidden from you is the fact that, you know, someone here wants to talk about the future with you. What does the future mean to you? What does this commitment mean to you? What does this all mean? What, what is it that you want? What is it that they want? So this is what I'm seeing um, happening for many of you in the present moment or will be happening in the present moment for many of you, okay? So let's talk about the near future. Now, in the near future, looks like you're single here with the Nine of Pentacles. However, because, you know, the page of the page of wands is here, you will be possibly moving into a new direction. So we're going to find out more about that in a moment. Let's clarify the nine of pentacles for Virgo. Okay, so the nine of pentacles is clarified by the ace of wands, the four of wands and the death. Wow. I don't think you see this coming, <laughs> but it looks like it's going to happen for you. Um, near future, it looks like a lot of you are not going to be single anymore. It looks like there's going to be a brand new beginning that's happening for you. It looks like a really solid, stable commitment is coming into your life. And this is something that you've always wanted. So remember how the star was being presented in the present moment and now it's in the near future. There's something that you secretly have wanted and I feel like that's a commitment and this may be what is happening for many of you in the near future. Tell me more about this new direction Virgo plans on taking in the near future. Okay, so the Page of Wands is clarified by the Six of Cups. You have the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Yes. So for many of you, this may be um, you deciding to have a new beginning with someone from the past, okay? Because you have the um, Six of Cups here and you also have the Three of Cups here in the past. So for many of you, it looks like you are going to be deciding to maybe communicate with this person and try to find a way to resolve some sort of disagreement that you had with them. I see you finally cooperating with this person because what you ultimately want um, is some sort of wish. You have some sort of wish to maybe heal this connection with this person. Tell me more about the star for Virgo. The star is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords and the Knight of Swords, yes. So it's like a lot of you are really determined to heal something here. You know, it looks like you and this person, there's a period of time in the near future where you are both somewhat closed off to one another because you're still getting to know each other or you're still trying to come back into this place of balance, right? So there's something here about needing to be open to um, healing this. If this is something that you want, healing some sort of differences that you have with a specific person. I see everything working out for you though, in the near future where, you know, this energy of feeling alone or feeling like you're by yourself, that's going to change because you're finally deciding to move into a new direction. So let's get some advice for you. The advice here for you is the Empress, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Cups. If 
a situation in your life is not focused on bringing about growth, is not focused on bringing about happiness and true love, then really the advice here for you, Virgo, is not to focus on it. Your advice here is, is to focus on what you truly want. Be honest with yourself. The Ace of Swords is about being honest. It's about truth. It's about being able to stare truth in its face and accepting it. So in order for you to be happy, Virgo, there's a need for you to really start to focus on the things that are growing in your life, the things that are making you happy, the things that are, you know, offering and giving you love. If it's not doing that, be honest with yourself. If it's not doing that, then is it something that you truly, really want to be focused on? Okay. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.